it is quite extraordinary how a government that says it wants to stop the boats and control our borders actually for years and still goes on funding organizations who are completely opposed to virtually any form of border control it makes you wonder who the real conservative party are well of course charlie peters is the gb news investigates reporter Charlie, tell us about this ludicrous state of affairs. There's a new update to the story now. So the Telegraph broke yesterday that the government was funding to the tune of £1.36 million the Paul Hamlin Foundation, a left-wing pressure group that was pushing out views that the government's migration system was systematically racist. It also had links and it had funded one of the members of the Migration Advisory Committee, they called Madeleine Sumption, as a five-person team. The GB News can disclose today that another member of the committee Professor Joe Swaffield from the University of South of Southampton is also being funded by a left-wing pressure group. That is the Joseph Roundtree Foundation. It's received £2 million in government grants since 2020. She sits at the uh, foundation as a trustee, and it has made a rather set of controversial claims. It is uh, it's claimed that the, the migration policies in this country are institutionally racist. It has slammed hostile migration policies. And it's also, its CEO has said that we've all grown up in institutions that foster racism. And also, it, it also funds detention action, a pressure group mm. linked to very liberal approaches to migration, which has also slammed our border policies as racist. So the government uses our money, taxpayer money, to fund organisations who say basically there should be no border controls whatsoever, mm -hmm. whilst government policy is to stop the boats and reduce immigration. Indeed, and, and the remarkable thing is that this professor has registered her interests with the government. It's publicly available information. So the government must be aware that it is receiving migration advice from a very small elite group that is a new Labour-founded quango full of people who are linked to left-wing pressure groups. So they can say one thing on their migration policy, but the advice they choose to receive and the people they choose to support say completely the opposite. I wonder whether, Charlie, I wonder whether the ministers ever get told this stuff. Mm. Yes, well, it, it's all online if they, if they want to look. I think perhaps... Some might say that there's a, a dereliction of duty from the number of migration ministers we've had. We must be receiving all, all this information and ask who is actually informing me and why aren't people taking a look at where this information is coming from. I mean, obviously, the word racist is bandied about all the time for all yeah, sorts yeah, yeah. of reasons. But if your own policies, your own sensible policies to reduce tens of thousands of people coming over illegally are described as racist, surely you'd want to check where that information is coming from and who is pushing that line and whether or not the taxpayer is paying for them. So what do we do now as a channel? You've been digging deep on mm -hmm. this, others, and you know, Paul Martin Telegraph as well, been mm -hmm. digging up what they have. What do we do now? Do we write to Suella Braverman, the Home Secretary, and Rishi Sunak and demand mm -hmm. that the Real Conservative Party stands up? Which are they? Do they support mm -hmm. these groups? Or do they support stopping the boats? What do we do next? Well, it's a question more for the politicians, but the best that you know, GB News can do is, is reaffirm the pressure to show that these people are not necessarily advising in their best interests. You know, Joe Swaffield, this professor, yeah. very openly lists this register. It's not hidden or secret information. It's just rarely disclosed, but I don't think there's a particular level of focus or investigation in this space. And it also comes in the context, of course, last year, Conservative Way Forward, a, a pressure group finding that hundreds of millions of pounds is being spent by taxpayers on equality, diversity and inclusion measures, which the government regularly rails against. So oh. you know, ministers saying one thing, but it, taxpayers it, cash going in the opposite direction. Absolutely, Joe. Charlie Peters, you're doing a great job here at GB News. We're going to write, this programme is going to write to Suella Braverman to ask her, does she support these organisations that are funded by taxpayers' money or does she support government policy?